Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome here to the Launchpad and our live launch coverage of SpaceX Starlink 6-17, launching from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida, the first of three launches over the next seven days from SpaceX uh, for Starlink. We're glad to have you joining us here. If it's your first time here, though, welcome. My name is Zach. I'm the founder and host here at the Launchpad, and we're glad to have you joining us live here tonight. Take a moment, let us know in the chat where you're watching from, and we'd love to give some shout outs there as we count down now T minus six minutes, 30 seconds and counting until launch. We are awaiting SpaceX to begin their live broadcast as they are now only broadcasting on X, but we will continue to bring you full live, full HD coverage here on YouTube of all SpaceX launches, Starlinks and the others, as we continue to bring you the best possible coverage of everything space that we can. While we wait for them to begin them their live X broadcast, we'll take a quick look at the weather coming in from the KSC weather station. Everything looking nominal for today, everything green and so far across the board for today's flight. Today's launch window opened at uh, excuse me 10:47 local time and runs till 1:46 a.m. Eastern time and they are going for the second opportunity of four for today's launch window. Fueling is well underway on the pad. It's like 40. This is the f se uh, f no excuse me. It's been a crazy day. The last time we saw a launch from Slick 40 was four days ago. Justin Crypton, thank you so much for that super chat. Loved the launch from Mississippi. It's great. Thank you so much for that support. We appreciate you. Uh, we got Jason tuning in from England. We got Ian in New Zealand. Jeff is in Iowa. We got R is in Georgia. Mike's in Vancouver. We got Peter in the UK. Uh, we got Sharon in North Georgia. Great to have you here. Spaceflight X asking, will we stream Psyche? Absolutely, we will. We got Fabi in South Africa. Frank's in New Jersey. And we have Kastini, sorry if I say that wrong, in West Hollywood. We're glad to have you here. We are expecting SpaceX to go live here momentarily. And we will, of course, patch them in immediately to bring you that live view from Slick 40 as weather remains 90% go for today's flight, carrying more Starlink missions to orbit. Not only is SpaceX pushing their uh, boundaries of their uh, launch cadence, going now for another launch this year, pushing for the new record of how many flights they can do per year. But this time they are also flying a Falcon 9 booster for the first time uh, for the 17th time. So uh, continuing to push Falcon 9 towards that 20 number uh, that they are currently registered for. Uh, and as we get closer and closer to that, we do have a live view coming in from SpaceX now. We'll bring that up on your screen here. Once it processes. Bear with me, everybody. We're continuing to navigate these fun joys of uh, SpaceX only broadcasting on Twitter. Uh, or X, excuse me, these days, makes it a little bit more fun for our team as we continue to bring these broadcasts to you live. Uh, and with them only going live a couple of minutes prior to launch, there's uh, no time really to prep for the systems, uh, and we are working to bring those to you. If you guys have questions, you can send those in the chat by taking us at the launch pad, and we'll work on answering those live to the best of our ability as we continue towards count. There we go. That is a live view from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. We are now at three minutes and counting until launch. Stage one launch flight is complete. Listening into the control nets there as we continue through the count. There we go. Now we, oh, we're going to go back to the old system that we had here. Bear with me, everyone. Sorry about this.
and you're looking at a live view of Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. We got there in the end. Thanks for bearing with us there as we are now just under two minutes and counting until launch of a Falcon 9 for the first time for its 17th flight. Ground gas closeouts. Falcon 9 is in startup. LD, go for launch. seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Mission. T plus propulsion is nominal. T plus 30 seconds into flight. Falcon 9 has launched on its 17th mission for the first time in SpaceX's history. The next major milestone we are waiting for is max Q. This will be the moment of maximum aerodynamic pressure and peak mechanical stress on the rocket. That's set to occur T plus one minute. T plus one minute, 12 seconds into flight. Charles Lane, thank you so much for that $5 super chat. Appreciate you so much. And welcome as a suborbital explorer. T plus one minute into flight, about 10 seconds away from max Q. Max Q. And there we have a pass through max Q. Next milestone coming up is a sequence of events starting at T plus two minutes, 26 seconds into flight. That's when we will see first stage main engine cutoff or MECO, immediately followed by first and second stage separation and the ignition of the MVAC engine, also known as second engine starter, SES-1. Trajectory. You heard their call out that the M chill of the MVAC engine this is about a minute before its ignition has now begun. Falcon 9 continuing on a nominal trajectory towards orbit. If you haven't yet, take a moment, gauge that like button, subscribe so you never miss another live launch coverage of SpaceX right here on YouTube. Two minutes into flight, now passing through 5,000 kilometers an hour, 40 kilometers in altitude. We are 20 seconds away from that main engine cutoff, listening for the call out. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. And there we saw those sequence of events, Miko, stage sep, and MVAC ignition. We're now about 10 seconds away from the fairing deployment. This will be the first time those Starlink satellites are exposed to the vacuum of space.
fairing separation confirmed. And then we saw those fairings separate away, exposing those starlings to the vacuum. The next major milestone will be the first stage entry burn that is set to occur six minutes, ten seconds into flight. We'll be keeping close eye on the telemetry in the bottom left corner of your screen. Watch the speed and the altitude. That is when we will know that the first stage has reached its uh, al uh, its apogee and is beginning its descent back down. Once we see that speed start to increase and that altitude decrease, that's the moment we will know apogee has been met. The second stage, continuing on a nominal trajectory, now 125 kilometers in altitude, coming up to 9,500 kilometers an hour speed. We're two minutes away from that first stage entry burn. All vehicles, nominal trajectory. If it's your first time here, though, welcome. My name's Zach. I'm the founder and host here at the Launchpad. Here at TLP, it's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together. We're glad to have you joining us here. We're now 4 minutes 30 seconds into today's flight of SpaceX Starlink 6-17, successfully launched from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. This is the first time SpaceX has flown a Falcon 9 booster for the 17th time. They're currently rated up to 20 the last launch from Slick 40 was just four days ago, and we're now just over a minute away from this first stage uh, beginning its entry burn. You can see there its altitude now descending and it's speed increasing, it meaning it has reached its apogee and is beginning its descent back down to Earth. Look up through the inner stage there of the first stage. Second stage continuing nominal trajectory, traveling over 12,000 kilometers an hour, 150 kilometers in altitude. The first stage now passed back through the Kármán line, now under 100 kilometers in altitude, coming up to 7,500 kilometers an hour. About 30 seconds, uh, excuse me, 60 seconds away uh, from that first stage entry burn beginning. If you guys have questions, you can send those in the chat by taking us at the launch pad. We'll work on answering those live to the best of our ability. Waiting for the call out of that first entry, first stage st entry startup. Watch that view on the left side of your screen. Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one FTS is saved. And we can see those Merlin engines have reignited on the first stage, slowing it down, now passing through 55 kilometers in altitude, cutting its speed now by about 1,000 kilometers and increasing as it descends towards the drone ship. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And there's confirmation of a shutdown Stage of that entry burn. We now are going to have that first stage kind of falling through the sky for about a minute and a half. Landing burn set to begin eight minutes, six seconds into flight. Landing about 20 seconds later, followed almost immediately by Sika 1. Now, SpaceX does not broadcast deployments anymore. Deployments set to begin uh, occur one hour, two minutes, 25 seconds into today's flight. So you'll want to follow them over on X or us via social media for confirmation of that deployment. If you're interested in becoming part of the TLP crew, though, we do invite you to head over to TLPnetwork.com. We are looking to bring on a few more moderators to our TLP YouTube and Discord crew, as well as some t more people onto our TLP news journalism and data researchers crews uh, for volunteer positions. And we're excited to be rolling out some new benefits for our TLP crew in the near future as well. So if you're interested, take a moment, head over to the website, fill out the quick application, and maybe you too can help become part of our crew and help us with our mission to to inform and inspire the next generation. We're now about 30 seconds away from that landing burn. Terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. Landing burn has started up. Keep an eye out for the drone ship coming into view.
make it fun. X decided to uh, go to sleep there for a moment, and we've lost quality, but they're going for a landing here. And touchdown of Falcon 9 after completing its 17th mission for the first time. And I don't think you could have got that much more centered uh, on the drone ship there. And we've had, we should have call out here of Seco 1. And that's going to do it for tonight as SpaceX now no longer broadcasts longer. And there was MVAC shutdown being called out. If it was your first time here, though, welcome. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss another live launch coverage. Join us over on our Discord in our live comms. We're going to have a kind of a post-show, after-show as we await for confirmation of payload deployment, something new we're kind of trying out. So consider joining us over there. That's where our space community hangs out in between launches and talks about everything space. Head on over to our shop. Use promo code LAUNCHDAY and you can get 10% off of everything on the store using that promo code. And as I said, consider joining our crew today. That's going to do it for us live from our TOP Canada studio. My name's Zach and I'll see you on Discord or next time because space is better together. Good night.